ए बी एंड सी स्टार्टेड बिजनेस ऑन फर्स्ट अप्रैल 2011 विथ कैपिटल ऑफ रुपीज वन लाख एटी थाउजेंड एंड रुपीज सिक्सटी थाउजेंड रेस्पेक्टिवली शेयरिंग प्रॉफिट एंड लॉसेस इन द रेशियो ऑफ फोर इज टू थ्री इज टू थ्री द लास्ट लाइन इज प्रिपेयर रियलाइजेशन अकाउंट एंड शो योर वर्किंग क्लियरली वर्किंग नोट्स वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर मेमोरेंडम बैलेंस शीट आज आर डैश डैश वी हैव द लाइबिलिटीज एंड अमाउंट एंड असेट्स एंड अमाउंट विथ रूपी सिंबल्स वी विल हैव टू प्रिपेयर दिस मेमोरेंडम बैलेंस शीट टू फाइंड आउट द सन्ड्री असेट्स दैट इज ए कैपिटल अकाउंट रूपीज वन लाख बी कैपिटल अकाउंट रूपीज एटी थाउजेंड सी कैपिटल अकाउंट रूपीज सिक्सटी थाउजेंड एंड क्रेडिटर्स रूपीज ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड एंड इन द asset side there is remained a cash balance of a cash in hand rupees 4000 and we have to total the and we have a profit and loss account debit balance rupees 50000 this is a loss it is the it is written that the firm suffered a loss of 50000 that is profit and loss account debit balance 50000 and as drawings is rupees 10000 b drawings rupees 10000 Six drawings rupees ten thousand. It is written that the drawings of each partner rupees ten thousand. Each part, each of the partners withdraw rupees ten thousand during the year. We have to total the liability side. That is coming to be rupees two lakh sixty four thousand. Take it to the debit side, asset side, and deduct all items to find out sundry assets. Balancing figure rupees one lakh eighty thousand. And with these sundry assets, we can start our dissolution. We have to prepare the fair notes realization account, draw the format to sundry assets rupees one lakh eighty thousand, buy creditors rupees twenty four thousand, buy cash account sundry assets realized it is written rupees three lakh, to cash account creditors paid it is written that creditors were. Uh, Stood at rupees twenty four thousand, and the creditors are paid rupees twenty three thousand five hundred in full settlement of their claims. That is, to cash account creditors paid twenty three thousand five hundred in full settlement, and we have to total the credit side. That is rupees three lakh twenty four thousand, and take take it to the debit side rupees three lakh twenty four thousand. Find out the gap. To capital accounts, profit and realization transferred in ratio of A is to B is to C. That is equal to four is to three is to three. That is rupees one lakh twenty thousand five hundred. For A, rupees one lakh twenty thousand five hundred multiplied by four by ten, rupees forty eight thousand two hundred. B, three by ten, that is rupees thirty six thousand one hundred fifty. C, rupees thirty six thousand one hundred fifty. And the total is rupees one lakh twenty thousand five hundred. The next one is your capital accounts of ABC. By balance brought down rupees one lakh rupees eighty thousand rupees sixty thousand, respectively for A, B, and C. Then by realization account profit and realization that is for A, rupees forty eight thousand two hundred. B rupees thirty six thousand one hundred fifty, and C rupees thirty six thousand one hundred fifty. And the totaling is this line will be, and there is a accumulated loss of fifty thousand appearing in the asset side. That is two profit and loss account, A rupees twenty thousand, B rupees fifteen thousand, C rupees fifteen thousand. Then we have to total the credit side, and the drawings of per partner per year was rupees ten thousand each, and the totaling in the credit side is higher. We have to. Past total the credit side, take it to the debit side. Then we have to find the difference the per payment to A, B, and C. It is to cash account. A will be paid rupees one lakh eighteen thousand two hundred. B will be paid rupees ninety one thousand one hundred fifty. C will be paid rupees seventy one thousand one hundred fifty. Then your cash account to balance brought down for four thousand to cash account rupees three thousand for realization of assets. It is not cash. It is two realization account. Then by realization account payment of liabilities rupees twenty three thousand five hundred by A capital account by B capital account by C capital account rupees one lakh eighteen thousand two hundred rupees ninety one thousand one hundred fifty rupees seventy one thousand one hundred fifty. 
and both the sides of the cash account is telling that is rupees three lakh four thousand. Both the sides and this is telling. Don't write down this to cash account. It is to realize an account asset realized.